So here we have the composition of a function with itself. And so we have f of f and g of g. So remember, f of f means to put f on the outside and then put f of x on the inside. That means I'm going to have f on the outside. And what is f of x? It's 6 over x. Now, what does it mean to have f of 6 over x? It means to take this function and where there's an x, right? So where there is an x, you're now going to plug in this. So it becomes this expression. And then how do you simplify this? This is a complex fraction. So you multiply the top and the bottom, every term in the top and every term in the bottom by the LCD, which happens to be x. And it cancels this one here, but you end up with 6x over 6, and the 6s cancel, and so you end up with just x by itself. Now for g of g, put g on the outside, and then you put g of x on the inside. And so what is g of x? g of x is x squared minus 7. So then what is g of x squared minus 7 going to look like? It means that wherever you saw an x here, you're now going to be plugging in x squared minus 7. So what does that look like then? It looks like something squared minus 7, and what I'm plugging in is this, x squared minus 7. And so here I do have some simplification that needs to occur. First thing is, is I need to actually rewrite this a way that I'm explaining what the exponent means. It means that thing, that base times itself. If I FOIL this, I get this expression. And then if I combine my like terms, I get this expression. And so this is the final expression for g of g, the simplified version.